yo i am back all right guys yesterday i flooded you guys with shit loads of brute forcing video right i think we are done with that so now we are moving on to something new i'm going to show you guys how to derive information how to collect information on a specific email or domain name using a tool called infoga we can do this uh, with our phone using Termux. For those who don't have Termux installed, for the newbies, I have left the link of how to install, uh, download and install Termux right below this video. So go get your Termux sorted out and come back and join us. Now for the rest of you, open your Termux. Now open your Google. I want you to search for this. Infoga GitHub. Alright? And then let's... I'm going to take the first one, M4 LL OK. Copy the link. Now, git clone and paste it in. There we go. Now, let's wait for it to do its dance and get it. Oh, there we go. So, let's clear the screen. LS for list. See, I have info guys there. So, I'm going to enter that folder CD infoga and i'm gonna list again let's see what's inside infoga awesome so we have set up infoga okay let's look at the readme so you can see they, they've, they've given you instructions on how to use and install right so let's get out of this control x so now, first things first, let's install Python. If you don't have Python in your, on your terminal, install it by typing p package install Python. All right. I have mine. So, so what we're going to do now is Python infoga.py. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Python setup.py install. Type this press enter there you go done now clear screen it's my OCD man list next we're gonna try and run infoga python infoga dot py oh sorry wrong spelling man python infoga dot py All right let's go there we go now, as you can see, they've given you all the usage. Let's go through it. The D switch is the domain, the domain name that you want to check. And the S switch is the source, meaning which uh, search engine do you want to want Infoga to search in. So you can use Google, Bing, Yahoo, so on and so forth. You can also just use all, which is by default all. Okay. Now, the B switch is to check if the email has been breached. The I switch is to get email information. The R switch is to uh, report simple file text report, which uh, in a way what to log your outputs. All right. And uh, verbose is to show you all the screen running so you won't be silent. The levels are one, two or three and help. All right. So let's go through this. Now, let's try a domain. OK, so the first one, what we have to do is type Python info gar domain so let's try um, hmm, nasa.gov i hope that works v3 let's see if there's anything so basically what you're doing with the domain name is let's say you have a domain name like uh, a target Let's say your target is from NASA and you want to find a list of NASA emails, right? So you use this instruction. So what Infoga would do, it, it will go through Ask, Baidu, Bing, Dogpile, Exalit, Google, and look for any emails that they can find that ends with nasa.gov.us. Let's try...
Let's try this again with a different one, all right? I'm going to use Energizer. Shit me, man. Not enough weed, guys. All right. Minus V3. See, they found one in Baidu, zero in Ask, zero in Bing, zero in Dogpile. Six emails in Google. So why do we use this? Uh, let's say if you want to send a virus or a backdoor, you know, to fish the corporate office, you would need all their emails so you can increase your, your targets instead of just attacking one, you know, increase your odds of getting in. Mm. And PGP. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, I think we're done. Not yet. So PGP. I think that's the last one. Yeah. It's doing its magic. Now, well, this. So basically, what this is similar to what uh, a tool in the past called the harvester used to do. Okay. Next up. We're going to try to get some email information, right? You're zero in Yahoo. Look at this. You found one called Ken Robson at Energizer.com. Multiple IP for... Domain contact, we don't need that. Pixel, energizer.com. Energizer.com. Stevet Hall, Stevet Hall, Stevet Hall. I don't know how his name is pronounced or her. My apologies. Yeah. Moving on, Yantik, Yantik, energizer.com. So we have all these emails, right? As I said earlier. We usually use this, use this to gather as much of the workers' email before we blast the back door or any, any, any virus. And we hope just one of them will click on it. Okay? So, next we'll try to get the info, right? Webmaster, that's, that's a common sense. Oh, sorry. That's a cat. Done. So, these are all the emails, okay? So, now, let's get... So I've shown you how to use domain. Let's go and use help again. Help. Next, we'll use source. I mean, next we'll use in. Let's use info first. Okay, we'll go. We'll follow the instructions here. So Python minus minus info, and what's the email earlier? Yanti Yanti, right? There's one. Yantik Yantik. Let's try that. Yantik dot Yantik at energizer dot com. All right. And minus verbose three. Oh, seriously. What did I do wrong here? Oh, I forgot to put Infoga. How much of a genius am I, man? I'm so smart at times, you know. Yantik dot Yantik at Energizer dot com minus V. So it's searching for Yantik Yantik. So there's no for using info, it only tends to go on show done. And it found no information. Alright, so let's clear the screen. Okay, let's type Python. Oh shit, you see I keep doing that. Because info and info does. Like the same thing. I mean, the spelling. Done. 
Okay, what else you want to try, guys? So now I'll show you what is source, right? So let's get out of this. So now basically, let's say you have a domain, like what I did with Energizer just now. But you want you don't want it to go through every single of uh, the source. You just want it to check in Google. So this is what we do. Okay, we type domain. Uh, all right, and then now we choose the source. By default, it's all so source Google. Okay, and we're going to use the breach switch to see if the email has been breached. Uh, breach minus V, and this time we use one according to the on six emails. This email wasn't leaked, so it's all right. So basically, what it did was it's only searching Google this time, not every search engine. So that's good news. It wasn't leaked. All right. So up again. Let's try the last one. The last one, you know, basically you have a is the same thing, but this time. You can create a, a, a file, a log file, a report, okay? So we put uh, report logs dot text, the same thing, minus V. Ready? Go. Oh, man. Okay, this one won't work for me. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the report switch. Now, basically, this is very useful, guys. I used to use a tool called the Harvester. You can you can you can Google it. It does the same thing. So let's go in and see one more time. So you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Domain. So I repeat again. Why do we use this? If we want to target a specific corporation, an organization. We don't know every worker who's working in there. And to just target one email would limit your possibilities, right? So we use this, get the use the domain, get every email as possible, and then we attack all of it. If one of them foolishly clicks on whatever we send, we're in. All right? Hope that helps, guys. I, I think, I hope I'm being clear here. This is a long video, though. So have a great. Now I need a beer man. Evening. Yo.